CBS poll shows most voters expect President Trump to be re-elected. That includes more than a third of Democrats and 90 percent of Republicans. That's not exactly promising as Democratic presidential hopefuls continue fighting it out for the party's nomination. Laura Podesta is live in New York this morning with the latest on the campaign. Good morning, Laura. Hey, good morning, Kim. So Bernie Sanders, he dominated among several key demographics, including young and Latino voters in Nevada during the caucuses. Overall, he took home more than 47 percent of the vote. Former Vice President Joe Biden landed second with around 20 percent, followed by Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Tom Steyer and Amy Klobuchar. So. Sanders' victory in Nevada helped widen his delegate lead. He's now up to 38, followed by Buttigieg, Biden, Warren, and Klobuchar. And they're all looking ahead to South Carolina. First the debate and then the primary later on. And President Trump has kicked off his first official visit to India with a rally this morning. This rally in India, and it's his biggest so far. So what's next? Yeah, biggest not even in the USA. He, it was held at the largest cricket stadium in the world. And during the remarks, uh, the president heaped praise on India's prime minister, um, met with a lot of cheers. During his two day trip, the president hopes to forge a new trade deal with India, but there's some dimming hopes of that deal coming to fruition because the White House has come out and said it has a lot of concerns over India's new citizenship law, which excludes newly arrived Muslims. Him. And Los Angeles will honor NBA legend Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna today. This is an event billed as a celebration of life. What can people expect? Well, around 20,000 people are expected to pack Staples Center, where Brian, of course, spent his career with the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, family, friends, and people who won a lottery for the chance to buy tickets will be there. And guests will include NBA stars James Harden and Russell Westbrook. It's still not known if Brian's immediate family will attend the ceremony, which starts at 1 p.m. Eastern. But I'm sure a lot of people are going to be watching and seeing if they're not there or or, or reacting on Twitter or Instagram or otherwise. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Back to you. All right, Laura, thank you. U.S. Army is sending hundreds of soldiers to Africa. Troops are part of a training brigade. This decision has been in the works for months. It is the next step in the Army's plan to use the training teams to free up other brigades for combat. In